guys welcome back to my channel and I just want to welcome you all if you're new here thank you guys for joining the family if it's your first time watching this video definitely subscribe and become a part of the family the old OGs thank you guys for coming back again to another episode of Janzi TV <laughs> so guys today we'll be talking about my at-home COVID test guys so it's my um what you call today is day seven of my quarantine i have to do a covid test on day eight which is tomorrow so i'm just going to unbox my covid test with you guys i kind of open right here already and i said let me just video it so you guys can see what's in here so yes um let me try to put this on the sun for you guys so I'm going to see pull this thing out. So I got everything out as you guys can see. I have a I actually didn't even know that I had to mail it back to them. So this is their mailing address to return my COVID test. This is um tube label. There's no label on this. Peel off label. Oh hell, there's a label. It's right here. So I have to peel this put, to put on my tube. Um I don't know why they send that sticker. I got some prep pads, the instruction guide. So this is the instruction manual, guys. How it works i have to create my account i have account already register my kit it's been registered already connect with us send your kit back i did all of that already i think they did all of this at the airport before i got my first covid test there so yeah all of that was done and then i've got my covid test so I believe this is a PCR test also. So yeah guys, this is the, the thing here. I wanted to video it for you guys, but um, I kind of couldn't because I was using the phone. I had to do video. So I had to do it on video with a Canada, Health Canada personnel. They had to watch me while I was doing it for obvious reasons. Like they want to make sure that you're the person that's actually doing it and you do it whatever 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 so I did screen record it and guess what guys after I um, watched the recording it has no sound like no sound but I'm going to go ahead and answer a few questions that I got on my last video some persons were asking um, if I had to call in every day to do my cell check-in the cell check-in is actually on arrive can app so it's the app that you do checking on guys like you don't have to call in every day and tell them oh i'm feeling good you just go on the app it sends you a notification every day or an email you just go on the app and you put in it just asks you are you having a fever or a cough no if you are having it you say yes but that's the only question they ask and then you move along and they tell you to come back tomorrow so it's pretty simple and I also got another question what was it somebody asked if I had called in to book my hotel yes I did call in to book my hotel I used the toll free line and call in. it's like a third party person but they work with the um, quarantine program to book hotels for travelers so I called in it was pretty simple it took like about 20 30 minutes to book the hotel and yeah somebody also asked if I had to stay in my room the entire time at the hotel I forgot to mention that you do get two 15 minutes break per day so you get two 15 minutes break per day to leave your room you can go have a walk a stroll something just go outside to get some fresh air but I personally I didn't do it I just stayed in my room the whole time and guys guess what happened on day 8 I did get a government representative come to my house to check up on me to see if I'm quarantining hello hey, how are you? I'm good you 
so I'm holding it together. <laughs> <laughs> Just need to see a piece of ID, please. My name's Richard Good. I'm oh, here. I have to go get it. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. <laughs> He just asks like three simple questions. He asks to see my ID, obviously, to make sure it's me. He asks if I've been quarantining, if there's anybody in the house that didn't travel with me that's living here. I told him yes. He just asks like, okay, are you quarantining from them? And I say, yes, I have my own room. He asks if I'm getting my essentials, like food, all of that. I'm like, yeah, I get those stuff. So they just ask that. They ask if I've got any visitors in the past days that I'm home. Obviously not. They ask if you leave obviously not I've been here like I haven't gone anywhere so those are the questions that they ask and yeah that's about it I'm going to go ahead and show you guys like my at-home COVID test so day eight you have to do an at-home COVID test then after the test you have to um, send it to switch health Canada is it switch health I believe so switch health Canada for them to t do your testing so they send somebody to come pick it up you can send it by uber for free or you can get the um, purulator service come and collect your covid test in the scheduled pickup time so i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys that and come back so guys i'm so mad that the sound did not record on this screen recording i guess because i was using the sound on this but they asked me to see my id first thing to verify my name address etc so um I'm so sad you guys couldn't like hear it because this lady she was so fun and caring like she made the process so easy for me and she ran a lot of jokes so they'll ask you to blow your nose and after blowing your nose you'll then do the covid test so that's a tube that you'll put the covid test in they ask for you to see it and then you go ahead and you put the um swab in your nose for 30 seconds each guys 30 seconds sound long not true because when i'm at the airport i swear they just do zoops zoops and it's done i'm there like counting and she had to put on a timer too for the 30 seconds so i had to do it for 30 seconds and apparently i wasn't pushing it too far can you imagine i did my own covid test and i still hurt myself the lady's like oh you gotta push it further you gotta push it further i'm like oh my gosh no this hurts but yeah guys after that's done, then I go ahead and I um, insert it into that tube thing with liquid. I'm not sure what liquid is in there, but I do that. Then I put my label onto the tube. So I put my name and my date of birth. Then I put it on the tube and continue to packaging. After that, the session is in and then you schedule your pickup. So it will ask you your home address then you schedule the method for pickup whether uber connect delivery or pure later pickup your time and date and guys you can leave them a small note to let them know exactly where you'll be leaving the package i personally just said i'm leaving it by the plants at the door so they could just come easily and grab it they don't have to be searching around just put it in plain sight pretty much yeah and that's it pretty simple and straightforward thank you guys for watching and see you next time i'll be out of quarantine